Hi guys, guys and welcome, welcome to, to NYC. NYC. Well, you haven't seen much of us in a while. We know you've missed us. Yeah, we've been MIA. Uh, a lot of stuff going on, I don't really know what, but it's not that we uh, just haven't been, in, uh, you know, capturing our, our, our uh, adventures for NYC. It's just that we haven't been really adventuring uh, that much. Um, you know, to speakeasies and the cool bars and restaurants that we usually like to go to. We've been kind of just busy with weddings and events and traveling and, and uh, trying to stay away from COVID, you know. Yeah, that so. too. Um, a lot more outdoor stuff, you know, all that good, good stuff. But tonight we're going out for the first time in a while to a cool place called, um, called the, the Water, Water Tower, Tower Bar. Bar. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's in the Williamsburg Hotel. It's on the roof. And basically on the rooftop there, Historically, there was just a pool and, you know, kind of a hangout area, a rooftop. And now they built this big water tower on top. Uh, not a traditional water tower in the sense that, it, you know, it's used to hold water. It's actually a reference back to, uh, you know, um, I think at least I would say um, back in maybe, I don't know, five years ago, maybe more, there was a uh, illegal uh, bar <clears throat> that was um, made in an abandoned water tower on the on a rooftop of a building in Chelsea. And... Uh, Never got to go to that, of course, but, um, you know, it was a cool place to hang out and, you know, very exciting. It was a true speakeasy. Uh, I think this is reminiscent of that in some ways, uh, except it's a much bigger than a regular water tower. <laughs> it could fit a lot, a lot more people, but uh, the idea is to go up, have a great view. Water towers are a fundamentally New York thing, I think, mm. in a lot of ways. You, you see them on a lot of the yeah. the buildings uh, throughout the city. Um, yep. And they're usually something when you're on a rooftop bar, you look up and see them and you say, huh, wouldn't it be cool to kind of get up there? So I guess this We're is going to answer the question. And we are going to get up there. Yeah, this is our chance. Um, so... Yeah, we're gonna head out in a second. Yeah, we're late. We're so late. We better catch go. You there. Catch you there. Life to make up for it. 
that's true. Everybody knows New York time is not like time around, around the rest of the world. Everybody is late around here all the time, and it's acceptable. Cheers. All right, so I had the Astral Plane, which has uh, bourbon, uh, maro, tamarind infused apple. That's cool. Uh, honey lavender syrup and lemon. It's really good. It's um, definitely tastes the mezcal. Uh, definitely tastes the lemon. It's very citrusy, upfront lemon. I don't really taste a lot of lavender or honey or tamarind. Really, I just get a lot of it. it. Tastes a lot of like lemon and oh, there's not mezcal at all. Lemon and bourbon. Um, intense lemon up front. It's a little spicy too, though, which is interesting, but it's mostly a very intense lemony type drink. Um, I think honestly, earlier on in the drink, you got more of the, uh, the lavender and the honey, where it's more at the top, honestly. It was more of like creaminess and a smoothness, and now I've been getting down. I think just the way it was mixed, you have more of the bright lemon in your face. So it's a good drink, though. We're having a good time here. Uh, I mean, a beautiful place. Amazing, these balls of light hanging out from the ceiling. Uh, amazing views of Manhattan. As you can see, I have a kind of a nice backdrop over here. Empire State, Chrysler, all the famous buildings. Also one of our episodes, Westlight, right across the way here. We are way up there. But we're a little lower to the ground now, which I'm fine then, perfectly content. Um, I love my drink. It makes me want to sneeze, but it's wonderful. I love it. Disco Volante. Just got back from Mexico, so I should have a good pronunciation of that. Chipotle infused illegal, illegal? Mezcal. What can I say? Citrus mix, mango puree, and mole. With the color, I would never know that there was mole in here, but I like it. Um, really good. It definitely awakens your senses. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's fruity. It's really good cocktail. Love it. Highly recommend. Um, we're having a lot of fun here. Very crowded establishment. Um, we're over kind of in a less populated area, which is nice. Solitude. Um, but yeah, having a great time. Alright, so I have here the uh, Metropolitan. And it is a watermelon drink. And I have to tell you, um, it's probably one of the best watermelon drinks I've ever had. Typically, watermelon drinks will fall into one of two categories. They'll either be super sweet to the point where they almost make you grimace when you take a, you take a sip based on the amount of corn syrup and just you know, over the top sweetness they have. Or they'll have just a bare, barely a little hint of watermelon where you can barely taste it. This one somehow managed to strike the perfect balance between the two of them. Um, it, it's actually. The flavor is actually pretty close to what you get, I think, at least, um, when eating an actual slice of watermelon. It's, um, it's definitely a prominent, prominent watermelon flavor, but it's not too sweet. In fact, it has um, it has a little bit of bitterness to it, and I think that's based on the ingredients. So it has uh, purple watermelon gray goose. I'm not sure what purple watermelon means, but I'm going to purple watermelon gray goose. Uh, lime, triple sec, and a splash of cranberry. And I think what's going on here is you have the, um, the triple sec is obviously the sweetener and then you have the lime and the cranberry kind of cut it a little bit and add that kind of sour slash bitter element to it and I think that's what when you put the two together it adds it, it kind of combines this nice kind of flavor where it's not too sweet not too bitter kind of the perfect mix very refreshing honestly and uh, I kind of like that bitterness it's kind of an interesting take on a watermelon drink where it's not just pure sugar, it's a nice blend. And uh, just to give you a little context of where we are right now, so we were up at the water tower bar, that's basically above us. 
and what happened is, in my mind, it should be channeling the Chelsea, uh, the uh, the water tower, the, the actual water tower bar in Chelsea that was created in an actual water tower, very illegal, very you know, very much trespassing. But that bar, they had you know, it was a speakeasy. They served drinks, and they had a live jazz band playing jazz. That to me is the right kind of. Uh, the right kind of sound for a, a bar to water tower. It's quiet, it's intimate, conversation, a nice, a nice jazz in the background. Instead, what they decided to do there is play, set up a DJ and play uh, the Uns 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 Blasting Club music that they're all playing here. Um, which basically meant that everyone decided to leave because they were losing their hearing. <laughs> As did we. So, um, basically, uh, that loud and that annoying as that siren. So we decided to come down after we had one drink up there and we decided to get another drink down here. This is still the rooftop, but it's it's the um, the main rooftop of the uh, Williamsburg Hotel, which has the pool and a bar and also another DJ playing very loud club music down on that side. We're standing on the opposite side to get away from that. And out here, it's actually very lovely. It's quiet. Yeah, there's some music in the background, but we can talk. We're enjoying the outside, enjoying the fresh air. So, uh, you know, you can see Westlight uh, over there on the top of that roof. We did the NYC there. Uh, you can see the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building and uh, Manhattan behind me, the line and things are there. So it's really an awesome view of the city. And uh, it's a great night. It's the it's beginning of June. So we're enjoying the uh, clowns. So we're glad we, uh, we Glad we came out and we're glad that we stayed inside for one drink and decided to have their one out here and enjoy the weather. We are back from the Williamsburg Hotel, Water Tower Bar. The Water Tower Bar itself was a very cool spot, uh, really cool ambiance. There was, you know, cool posters, it was dimly lit. There were these amazing, it was lit with these amazing lights that hung down from the ceilings, little balls. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, it definitely felt like they were, you know, they're channeling the original, the place in Chelsea, which was the, um, the, speakeasy? Uh, the speakeasy, where it was, you know, set up in a abandoned building on the, the rooftop of a abandoned building in the water tower. But that place was, you know, uh, in true speakeasy kind of hidden fashion. It had a, uh, a jazz band there. Uh, that, that smoky jazz felt really good for, I think, a good match for when you're sipping cocktails conversing in a kind of a dark romantic space. Here, I don't think they got the memo because, you know, it started off like that. I was like, oh, this place is great, easy to talk, couches, sit, sip your drink. And then all of a sudden they come in there, they uncover this DJ booth and they start blasting music. At, right next to us. It was loud enough where a lot of people started leaving. Um, everyone went out onto the balcony. It was, you know, it's like one of those things, like we the audience, when you put on blasting music and everyone starts leaving, uh, That's a sign. Probably a good sign that you're playing music too loud. So, you know, it was unfortunate, honestly. We wanted to stay up there for another another round. But, you know, we we couldn't hear ourselves think, let alone hear ourselves talk. Um, or hear the air person talking, really, I should say. So we were just like, nope, can't 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 stay in here. You know, we could, we're going to get headaches from this, this pounding. You know, and it wasn't even like the interesting kind of music or interesting music playing interesting songs. It was just kind of like the boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, like, you know, they, dance, they, dance, they dance. yeah, they, the same thing was happening downstairs by the pool. Um, you could have gone down there and gotten all your filler that you like. So like, how about differentiating a little bit? We did actually find mm -hmm. a nice little spot on the, um, towards the edge of the, uh, the, the rooftop where it was a little bit quieter, which is where we, uh, enjoyed our second round of drinks. So anyway, that was the water tower bar. Uh, we still did have a fun night generally, I think. Yeah, we're going to call it a night. Thank you for joining us. Join us again soon for some more fun adventures. We'll go to some other fun places. So, Good night, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.